Alright guys, welcome back. So, today we're going to be taking on Sunderland at home. Uh, in the last part, oh, it was such a frustrating game. It was so close, we could have won it. We really could have. But I guess then in the end, uh, Crystal Palace could have won it. Um, and But it was a good game and we showed signs of improving. So I'm hopefully, hopefully hoping in this game uh, we'll be able to uh, take advantage of well we'll take advantage of the 4 3 3 yet again and because it gives us more options up front and hopefully um we m hopefully 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 being the key word here get a goal today as you can see i've had to take ings out because he's injured so barnes is up front sordell i've put him into the middle because he's very fast sordell um with jut i'm just going to call him jut because i don't even know how to pronounce that name and i can't remember how he pronounces his name um but yeah, um, I don't think I did. I think put, I put Chalaber back into the midfield as well with Boyd and Jones. And I think I took me out. Um, and I think I put somebody else in. Is it? I can't remember his name. But I put a new left back in as well. Because um, I think he was a little bit faster than me. And um, yeah. So here we go then. We got to try and win this one. Hopefully today. Because uh, we really do need to pick up points now. And uh, Sunderland uh, might be the team to do it against. Here we are. Oh, so close. Ah, my own egg got out to it first, though. So, so close. It was a good start from us, though. I could tell you that. And uh, I've given new instructions to the team. I've given them... Because um, we played long balls in the last game, pretty much. And we'll probably still do that here and there but um in this in this match um i've told them to play counter-attacking football because i think that's probably what we're probably best at because we're kind of good at absorbing pressure and then trying to attack it just if we didn't lose the ball so much then it would be a little bit better for us but um yeah we're just going to go with that and see what we can do But uh, I tell you what, though, without Heat, and I don't know where we'd be because he's been absolutely on fire. Been our best player for us, our goalkeeper. He's kept us in it in some games, like the Swansea game and Chelsea game, and the last game. So, yeah. Here we go. Here's Jut. Oh, header. Really need to win this one. Oh, Villa are beating Arsenal. That's something there, but we don't really care about that because I think Villa will be fine. And, uh, oh, here they come. Oh, that's a good ball. Here we are. Can we build something here? Oh, that could be a good ball. It's not going to be, though. So we're making the chances. We're looking more lively, like in this game, in the in the last game, in that. Oh, here we are. Can we turn? Oh, every time. Every time when we just think, oh, we can do this here, we can do this. Nope, ball gets taken away from us. Just that final little touch, that little bit of space that we need to fire up the shot. We just sometimes really very struggle to find it here comes Sunderland we gotta get this one away is that offside it's not offside apparently free man oh over the bar or was it wide or was it both guess we'll never know but we got away with it there Ah, oh, it's terrible. Sebastian He's won that back for us. Well done there. Oh, come on, ref, please. That had to... That, what? How can you allow that? Well, it's gone out for a throw-in, I guess. As you can see, I'm gradually and gradually complaining more and more at this game as I play it. So, we're having good times with it. That's offside. Oh, wait, no. No, goalkeeper's going to gather. 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he kind of nearly let that, let that one go for a second. But, uh... Really do need to pick up three points. We're 17th, so we're above relegation. That's where we need to be, at least. So, we're doing half decent. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's going to be fine, though. We can get that one away. But, uh, I think somebody suggested put Sordell up front, and uh, I've been doing that, and here we are. You know, it's working out quite well because he's a very good player. And I didn't put him up because he's, I think his, uh, I think his, his average, I think his overall rating is actually 66. And I thought, hmm. But then I kind of looked at his pace and thought, hmm, actually, he's not that half bad. So I decided to use him. That's oh, going to be a corner. I don't know why. No, oh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. It's going to go out. Is that another corner? It is another corner, unfortunately. Come on, we need to get this one away. So I'm going to set the uh, attack tactics to attacking, because if we get the ball back, which we should, we can build something. They've only got two men back here. And, of course, we lose it straight away, because that's what happens with this team. Uh Right, come on, somebody make a run then or something. No, oh, it wasn't too bad. Surely, no! Such a good chance. Such a good chance there. Fired up the shot. Oh, can't believe he saved it in the end. Boyd's going to whip this one in. It's header. Oh, free header to us. It's going to go wide. Not good enough there. Definitely not good enough. Oh, we're looking much more like it, though. We're look, making more chances, getting up there more. If we can hit... I mean, really, ideally, we want to, we want around about 20 points by Christmas, and then that should be pretty good. What are you doing there? Do not do any dodgy passes in the box, because that is just terrible if you start doing that. Oh, this is nice. This is quite nice. Good ball in, perhaps? Nope, of course not. <laughs> Come on, here we are. Four minutes added on. Got to get back. Larson, going to put that one over. Oh, here they come. He's running past. He's going to whip this one in. Is he? No, that's terrible. It's going to go wide, and that's probably going to be half time, is it? That's probably going to be half time in a second. Nah, it just feels like we're not getting long enough, though. No, it's still not half time. And there is half time as soon as we get on the attack. But not too bad in this first half, though. We really need that one chance that's going to give us the goal. Hopefully, we can get it in the second half. But we just we just need a bit of luck about us as well. But I think the four-three-three is definitely more better for us because we're having more chances and whatnot. Half time. So second half, we're just going to keep everything the same. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, again, being the, the massive keyword in this series, we're going to win. <laughs> and uh, everything's going to be great. Here we are. Uh, we're not fast enough. Just that one little chance that we need. Manchester United are beating Leicester 2-1. There's at least Leicester are losing, taking the positives again. Is that going to be a good ball? The goalkeeper's come right out. Oh, we can't get to it in time. Very unlucky. 
Our next game is going to be a wet against West Brom, if you didn't know that. So join us for that one. <laughs> but uh, no, another game there, to be honest, where we, again, three points we need to be getting. If we can. Offside, oh, unbelievable, come on. Oh, that's a terrible ball. Free kick given. There's a bit of fighting going on here. And there's go oh, there's going to be a red card. Red card for Sunderland. Well, now we really do have to go for it. Hopefully we can really now can get a goal. Buckley has been sent off and then he's fighting with Boyd. So now Sunderland are reduced to 10 men. We really do need a goal now. Take advantage of that extra man if we can. Free header. Oh, he didn't head it. He tried to volley it and it just totally didn't work. Chalaber, what are you doing? He did, he thought he'd actually scored. I thought he scored. Jack Rodwell's going to come on for Jody Gomez for Sunderland here. Come on now, what, what are we on now? No, we're not even 60 minutes in, so there's still some time. But they will have to make a few... Like I said, they've made a substitution there because of the red card, I believe. So they've tried. They're going to be changing things up. They're going to be. I mean, we got to make that extra man count. You know, they always say that it's harder to play against ten men, but honestly, you've got an extra man over, so you should be. It should be easier technically, but the opposition's always, always going to be um, more defensive when they've got less players. It's coming in. Oh, nobody's chasing it down for us. Danny Graham. It's going to try and cut in here. Oh, they're going to cut him. Surely not. Surely not. No way. Unbelievable. Playing against 10 men and we've conceded just nowhere. How? Defence was all over the place. Just let him run into space. Massive gap at the back. That is terrible. And if we score now, it's probably just going to be an equaliser and that's going to be it. I doubt we're going to win this now. I don't want to have that never say die attitude, but I don't think we'll win this one. I think we'll probably just end up getting a draw because our look just doesn't seem to be in at all. We can't give up though. Ah, oh, can't get through there. His sword out. Ugh, it's blocked out. Come on. We've got to track back. What have we got it on here? Balanced. So we're only balanced. We aren't committing that many men up front. I mean, to be honest, we should probably go attacking now because we've got no option but to. Oh, surely. Surely. No, off target. How are you off target from there? Oh, my God. I'm just... Oh, 
when we get back in that dressing room, I swear. I swear there's going to be hair dryers all over the place in that dressing room. You cannot be getting off target from there. How? Surely there's a goal in this for us. Here's Chalibur. Uh, we're not getting the space we need. Just at all. And it's right at the goalkeeper. I decided that I'm just going to make one substitute. Um, I'm bringing Boyd off. Um, I can't even remember who I'm putting on now. But uh, I'm bringing on someone who's got a little bit more pace about him because Boyd's not the fastest player in the world. Um, so, yeah. Oh, chance. Just got to go for it. Just got to go for it. <sighs> it's just wave after wave of attacks here from us. We've lost the ball yet again. They're going to try and counter us. Larson's going to bring it out wide. That's terrible ball. Jones with the shot, good save. Well, the reactions there, the reflexes were absolutely top class. Well, the strikers must end with a chance. Oh, off the bar, you can't be serious with that. Surely not. It's just not going to be our day again, is it? It's just not going to be our day. Boyd is going to come off. Knightley's going to come on because he's got a bit more pace. We're just going to have to throw it on all out attack, I think. They're going to make a change as well. Larson is coming off. Is it really going to make that much of a difference though? I don't know. Oh, we can't get it in. Oh, it's off the line. Sort of. It's going to go out for our throw and again. Five minutes added on. Surely there's a goal here for us. We've been pressing and pressing and pressing. Surely we're going to get something. We've lost it yet again. We've got to make use of this. Oh, terrible. Absolutely terrible. And that's probably going to be the game. Maybe he should have crossed it. Maybe he should have crossed it. Disappointed faces on the players today. A game where we should not be losing. We haven't had to make a sing. We haven't had a single save in this game. Mayone's had to make six. That just tells you something. It's going to go out. Are we going to get any, any kind of? Good. No, we're not going to do. Unbelievable, guys! I am so disappointed with that. So so disappointed with that. I can't believe that we should not have lost that at all. Sunderland somehow come away with it, but that was so disappointing. That's football, I guess. So, here are the results then, guys. Uh, to start off, Arsenal lost to Aston Villa 2-1. Uh, Crystal Palace lost to Everton 3-1. Uh, Leicester drew with Man United 2-2, so that's kind of an interesting result there. Not what we needed, but uh, Chelsea beating Manchester City 2-0. Hull win again against Newcastle. Um... QPR 2-2 against Stoke, uh, Spurs 3-1 against West Brom, so Spurs still top of the league, uh, Southampton 1-1 against Swansea, but West Ham do lose again this time to Liverpool, so uh, we need the results to go our way. So this is how the league table looks, as you can see though we're still 17th, I thought we were going to be in a relegation spot by now. Um, not much to say over them. We're still looking for that win. Hull have gone right up into six there. How have they done that? I don't know. But, um, yeah, Stoker and Fed. 
Uh, we're on 10 points. Uh, Manchester City are on 7th. Um, looking at the bottom though, West Ham still only on a point. Leicester on 2. Swansea on 3. Um, so we're only on 17th by one goal difference. So we really do need to start picking up points. We're going to be away against West Brom in the next one, I believe. So... Hmm. So the next set of fixtures then, this is the 27th of September, uh, Arsenal are going to be playing Spares at home, Chelsea taking on Aston Villa, Aston Villa not doing too bad I suppose, uh, Crystal Palace are going to be playing Leicester, so I don't know, probably a win for Crystal Palace there is probably what we need, Hull are going to be taking on Manchester City, Liverpool against Everton, Derby there, Manchester United, West Ham, uh, so we need Man U to win, uh, Southampton, QPR, uh, Newcastle and Stoke, not too bothered about that one. Swansea and Sunderland, probably a Sunderland win is what we need there because Swansea are at the bottom with us. And West Brom is the team that we're going to be playing. We're going to be away for this one. So, yeah, another just frustrating, disappointing game. But uh, it's not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. We've still got... Uh, plenty of time anyway guys thanks for watching this episode again if you've got anything to suggest or anything um, or maybe we're just getting unlucky I don't know but uh, I will see you guys in the next one for the West Brom game thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe whatever you do and I'll see you in the next one see you then